welcome to the Questionnaires podcast, where each week we source the best questions from Yahoo Answers and attempt to provide the best advice from... Do giraffes get struck by lightning more often than other animals? To... Can I develop a suit of calluses on my body if I just rub everywhere hard enough? We're here to prove that every question deserves an answer. Joining me this week, as always, is Marcus. Hello. And Damien. I'm back, baby. He's back. He's back. He is back. He's How made you it. feeling, boy? Oh, man. I had an absolute week. Oh, yeah? It was horrible. Oh. I can give you the condensed version. If yeah, that's, yeah. If you guys please, are, if please, you, are yeah. you curious, they, I don't even know if you're curious. I mean, Damien, yeah, I, I, ne- I never even contacted Damien to say, I hope you're okay. He's <laughs> just like, I'm not making the pod this week. And I probably gave the thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> In the chat, <laughs> I haven't spoken to him since. Yeah. Whereas Marcus is checking on me Daily. on the regular. He's, he was putting the thermometer like, up your stop, stop caring, please. To be fair, I don't even know if like he knows the full extent of what happened. Or Whoa. I mean, Tom has no idea anyway. No, I don't. Tom has um, no idea. I have some idea. Yeah. So last week on Thursday, yeah, I was at work and started feeling lightheaded. Okay. So I couldn't like I was trying to focus on work. Almost felt like I was going to pass out. Ooh. So they sent me home. Uh, then I got home and thankfully my partner was home. As soon as I walked in, I got that same sensation again. Yeah. And then all of a sudden tunnel vision, my hearing started to go. Oh shit. And I ran out the front to get some fresh air and I just collapsed face nice. first on the ground. Yeah. Legitimately. Whoa. Was Whoa. that on the concrete? No, I've got fake grass. Oh, so. thank- <laughs> thankfully you got the grass. Cause that would have been then like I fake mo every week. <laughs> <laughs> Um, You're fooling nobody. And the worst part was, like, as I ran out and I fell face forward, my neighbour was coming home. <laughs> so he would have seen yeah. my girlfriend behind me running. So he would have thought either she, she like, stabbed me from behind. Or tased yeah. you or yeah. something. Yeah. You just dropped like a log. Or, like, or I was so drunk that I just collapsed on my front lawn, Whoa, right? Yeah. And the crazy thing was, like, I tried to pick myself up yeah. and it literally felt like somebody was standing on my back. I could not get up. Whoa. So I was stuck on my front lawn. Girlfriend called the ambulance. They ended up coming to really? yeah, legitimately. Why did he you was not whisked tell away. Me this? He was whisked away by ambulance. Oh, dude, like, I, I thought you just had the flu. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, oh, poor boy, got the flu. Oh man, like I was Jeez. legitimately. Well, so, to be fair, Damien just said, "I'm I'm too sick. I can't come in." That's all. Yeah, he yeah, actually I know. Gave. yeah. Man, a few words. Yeah, offer very little information about I'm yourself. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's well, that's hence the thumbs up. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> And so the thing that scared me was, because I've had to call Triple O in the past for people, yeah. but generally they keep you on the line for a, quite a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they might even transfer you to a doctor. Uh, the symptoms that my girlfriend was described, that I was describing to her that she was passing on, yeah. they were like, no questions, an ambulance is on its way. Really? So I was like, okay, maybe I'm having a heart attack because I'd been having some nerve troubles earlier, but yeah. like, so my whole left side was numb, right. all this scary stuff, right? Yeah. So they got there, checked my vitals, I was okay. And so I was like, all right, they're like, don't stress, maybe go to the doctors, you know, but whatever. Did yeah, the ambulance yeah. take you away or they just- No, they gave me the option, but they, they check, for me, everything they checked my blood, they said I was fine. Mm. So then I kept living my life as normal because <laughs> I thought I was okay, right? Yeah, yeah. And then on Saturday, that same sensation did again. Did you go to the doctors? Sorry? You, did, you didn't go to I went to the I went to the doctors, um, but like my, everything was fine yeah. on the surface level. So I went to the doctors, uh, sorry, on Saturday, same thing happened again. Yeah. And basically had to get, because I've got a two-story house, I had to get, get like help down the stairs. I couldn't walk. Wow. Just felt like I was, I couldn't do anything. Zombie boy. Yeah. So I got brought to the hospital this time. I was there till like one o'clock in the morning. So then after that, got sent to get an MRI, yeah. like, like a day after. And thankfully it's nothing serious. It's just I, like, we, what, you're I, okay? I, I, or? I, well, like I went to a physio for my original nerve thing. And I think the stretches they might've given me, because it's my ulnar nerve. So it's attached to your... Your ring finger index and it goes all the way to your neck. Jesus. So I think whatever stretch it's like it- some Steve Seagal stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm going to punch you all over there. It's almost and it just twists your pinky. <laughs> and then his hand just goes, oh, and you almost, can't walk. It's yeah. also like almost like God got lazy because I feel like the body is very well made and compartmentalized. It's like, oh, fuck it. Let's make a long string that goes from the neck <laughs> tie this to all, that, all the way to the hand. And it'll get the job done. Exactly. Yeah, right. So like, I think whatever stretches they gave, they're just pulled something on my neck that right. my body did not like. Yeah. Almost like the kill switch in yeah, my body. Right, exactly. And it just shut me down. <laughs> and you just dropped on the front lawn. And so, like, because I've been having these dizzy spells, yeah. thankfully I've got the next two uh, weeks of work off. Yeah. I've basically been like Shia LaBeouf in Disturbia, <laughs> sitting at my house window just watching people. <laughs> <Yeah. before. laughs> <'Cause, 'cause laughs> like, see, when we well, actually, Tom, when you got here, yeah. we, we were in the window watching you get yeah. around. Yeah. It was literally window. like, yeah, 
didn't like this. Marcus, that was a fun joke. Yeah, that was a joke. But for Damien, that's life. That's been my life for last week because I haven't been able to drive. And when you guys are coming over, it's a bit sad. I got a bit excited because like I've been stir crazy. I haven't been able to leave the house. Puppy at the window, scratching to see us, Damien. Come on, true. He was just scratching at the window. He was ready. He was ready for some fun and action. Sorry about humping your leg, by the way, when you walked in. There's this stand. I'm gonna. I'll pass my pants. It's a mess. But you'll get my dry cleaner bill. Right. I'm already getting the ambulance bill. I don't need the dry cleaning bill. So you're okay though. The MRI scans said I'm all clear. So and I'm feeling. 100% 100% better today. Yeah, well, that's that's well, great. See, I hate, like, I don't know about you, but I recently had a scan as well, and nothing came up on the scan, and that made me feel worse because I'm like, I feel tell, bad. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what it is. I feel bad, but there's nothing on the scan. I'm like, yeah. motherfucker, like... Which is like, what if it's something that you're missing that is actually really, really bad? Yeah, you know? I, I, well, or... Am I just like? Am I just mentally fucked that? Yeah, like, yeah. I just think. Well, you start to it. imagine it as well because yeah. you know your symptoms. Yeah. So for fans of the show, though, Jesus. the questionnaires are falling apart one by one. Right. One. So enjoy these episodes while you can. I love that you bastards make fun of me for being old. But <laughs> you're the guys that are like. We actually oh, made, you know what's so funny? We oh, Marcus that. messaged me because yeah. we're, we're both our both bodies are falling apart. Yeah. 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 Your body's meant to be a temple. These are temples of doom right yeah. now. Right? They're falling yeah. apart. Yeah. But we legit, legitimately had a conversation where we said we can't tell Tom what's happening. To us because we always make jokes about yeah, him being an octogenarian. Exactly. Yeah. You should be like, what did you do when you were my age, Tom? Yeah. Like, oh, I remember those glory years two yeah. years ago. Honestly, Tom is the young whippersnapper in the room. Tom is the moment. whippersnapper. That's right, you bastards. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna, look, I'll, I'll, I will not uh, segregate Judge. you like you have once segregated me. Yeah, well, can you segregate somebody if you, we outnumber you, though? Um, probably not, yeah. 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 All right, you yeah. got me on brain power, too. I will say this. If I start singing Vertigo by you 2 that yeah. means I'm getting dizzy spells yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, so if you hear me go, oh no, I'm going to hit the floor by, cont- by contorches. I'm going to be on the floor. Oh my god, Wait, before Edge comes in on the guitar. <laughs> did I sing the wrong U2 song? No, that's the yeah. right one. Oh, good. He also all right. says, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. All right. All right. I thought that song was called Bono Yeah. Bono says a lot of things. Well, I'm glad you're, no, you're doing okay. Yeah. And um, hopefully this podcast will help you at least get back to a bit of normality. Yes. Yeah. But speaking of helping, we're going to help people from the website Yahoo Answers. We can't Mm. help you physically yeah, but we no. can help you verbally yeah, yeah right. exactly so we're going to answer some questions that we found from that website Yahoo Answers and provide some advice and help these um, people on their way their journey through life See. the other thing we do is we choose a theme for each week to name the question askers and it's Damien's theme this week okay so the day this comes out it is National No Bra Day <gasps> right? oh okay cool. uh, I've, been, I've, been, I've been rocking the No Bra Day 365 days of the year well, yeah. 364 there's one day you know you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, you gotta get frisky yeah. sometimes <laughs> right. everybody, everybody needs support sometimes your partner yeah that's okay. right uh, but I was gonna say if you guys had to for the rest of your life yep. live without uh, one cl- uh, item of clothing yeah. for the rest of your life, mm. what would it be? Ooh. But this is stuff that you wear every day. So it can't be like, oh, I wouldn't wear my, my dog tags that I got <laughs> from Forever 21. <laughs> yeah, but right. what if those dog tags mean a lot to you, bro? If you wear them every day, sure. <laughs> so has- I mean an everyday clothing item. Ooh, uh, okay. An everyday what clothing item. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go first. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give up a jumper. A jumper? Okay. Just jumper. simply jumper. So which are you just freeze your ass off? Yeah, I'll just freeze my ass off. Well, freeze. Because I don't want to give up my pants. Yeah, you know yeah. what? You, know what I mean? you can't Donald Duck it. Yeah, exactly. You can't. Quack, yeah, quack, 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 quack. You can wear the pool it, though. Actually, no, you can't. He doesn't wear pants either. He does the same thing. Does that mean that he can wear a jacket? Well, look, mm. let me just say any... Like, I'll, I'll, sleeves. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll say sleeves. Sleeves. Yeah. Right, sleeves. I'll, I'll sleeves. I'd love to see Tom in a tank top all the time. <laughs> no, I don't mean sleeves completely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a, a little t-shirt, t-shirt or a shirt, but yeah, not right. a long Short yeah. sleeve shirt. I, I think I could probably just brave it. Maybe just do like, I don't know, a couple of jumping jacks to stay warm instead. Yeah, so You're Tom's giving up sleeves. I'm going to give up sleeves. What question do you have up your lack of sleeves? So sleeves writes in, how can I tell her kindly that I don't want to buy from her yard sale anymore? Okay, I went to a yard sale by a woman in my neighbourhood last year. I bought stuff from her that cost $30. We ran into each other at the neighbourhood months later, and she asked me to exchange contact info with her because she's selling stuff again. I gave her my phone number. I went to her house and bought stuff from her for $30. She asked me where I lived, and I told her. Months later, she left a note on my apartment front door to call her. I called her, and she said she's selling stuff again. Oh, my God. I bought from her again for $40. Recently, she called me that she's selling again, but I ignored her calls. We saw each other in the neighborhood, and she asked me why I don't return her calls. She asked me to come to her house and buy the stuff. I was walking home last night, and she was in front of my apartment walking, and she was persistent and wanted me to go to the house at that moment to buy the stuff. Oh, my God. I told her I will call her, but I didn't say I don't want to buy from her anymore. She was stalking me. 
and asked me what my apartment number was. What do I do? Sleeves! Fuck, sleeves! I mean- don't worry about the $30 purchase you're making per month. You're just giving this woman all your personal information. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's, like, that's like a mistake. I'd rather hand my cash over. I know, yeah. this is a stranger. Yeah. And you told them where you live. It's somebody where in her live? neighborhood. That's, that's, it's nuts that this person's a stalker like, no, you're buying my stuff now. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's very similar to almost like a pyramid scheme <laughs> situation. You know where like those people, um, people, I mean, they don't like to be called pyramid schemes. Nobody likes being called they a call pyramid scheme because it's a scam. Upside down triangle schemes. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, but basically, those people that may- maybe do some sort of line of work where they get commish based on um, sales and they of have course. to push sales. Yeah. yeah, And, you know, you as a friend, if your friend just says a Tupperware salesperson, yeah. for example, has to sort of, you know, if you're helping them out, but someone else is making the money. Yeah. Higher up. Yeah. I'm also surprised that this person is having a yard sale every month. It's yeah, that, it, how it, much it, stuff it do like they, they have? It sounds like they want to sell all their things. They didn't sell much, so they do it again, and they do it again. And yeah, do and it she's, again. she's done the thing of, like, this reminded me, I was funny enough, I was talking to my mum about this the other day. Whenever she's donated to charities, um, now she will get con- contacted by them every couple of months saying, you know, you've donated once before. Oh, you know, they, 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 they know, know you're a sucker. People. They come around. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you can do it right, but they know that you're they, willing yeah, to they give. They come yeah. around the collection the cha- plate. The charities are like, we're going to call this. Yeah, fucking yeah. Idiot. I mean, but seriously, but the thing is, like, <laughs> mysteriously, <laughs> like, hello, is this David's <laughs> you got Oh shit! Well, what, what, would you like to donate to the guy seeing eye dogs? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what one of the ones she that's donated the one to. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and the, and like, puppies. It's yeah. nice to donate once, but like my mum said that they contact her like every six months, and it's like I can't be donating. Fifty to one hundred dollars every couple of yeah, months. Yeah, what about the people that don't donate? You don't have exactly. like they don't have my info, so I'm never going to get contacted. Yeah, yeah. but That's not saying trip. I want to be contacted. They're That's... always hitting her up for oh, some, wow. for some donos. For like, donos, like, yeah. like yeah. these dogs need like leashes. Who, who's going to pay for those leashes? <laughs> <laughs> we can't have these dogs just walking. We've, we've, we've lost fifty dogs <laughs> yeah, right. to oncoming traffic because we have no leashes. <laughs> fifty bucks will help us get a leash. Yeah, um, a leash on life. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, she this person's buying a lot of stuff from a yard sale yeah. at a high cost. I would say thirty dollars is quite that's a lot of stuff the shit that you're just like I need to get rid of them but this is what I don't like who has that much like I mean everyone has that much shit but like, say, we, we, we used to live around the corner from somebody yep they used to permanently have a yard sale sign right up. oh always. really yeah always just yard sale that's up. right every yeah. every yard sale, sale. Garage garage sale. Garage all year yard sale oh yeah every yeah. year so my I was actually scared I'm like I don't want to go in there because it's in his garage. Like yeah. it was like you had to walk in. You had to walk oh, in. Yeah. Yeah. Not an inviting yard sale. No, no. no. And it but was I, just like, oh, look, I'll just put the sign out there, and then if someone comes in and buys whatever I've got, wants to buy, then I'll... I think he just had a garage full of shit, and he was just like trying to get rid oh, of it. Maybe I can make some money from this. Yeah, yeah. all this crap. Yeah, that's I mean, weird. I the, the, you're right. Thirty dollars, thirty dollars, and four. That's a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a fair that's bit a, of money. That's a, that's a big chunk of money. Well, like, just say you don't have anything to buy. <laughs> you got a hundred out of me. Yeah, I don't think the spending the money is an issue. It's if, not mu- if it's things you need and you're saving money, yeah, right. It's the fact that you gave your you gave a contact number and an address to this person. Yeah, yeah. I would say that's entirely on you. Mm. If you go to a yard sale, you make a purchase, you leave, you're buying cash, you're buying cash. Unless I don't, I don't, they don't imagine they have. A, yeah, they're not going to have a card machine, well, right? Yeah, but you know, know, most people have card no, machines. You know those cafes, True. those cafes that they have the little tile. Yeah, and you're like, boop, you tap yeah. and go. Yeah. Don't do that either. I like just do I, cash. I just think it wasn't the it was the personal information transactions. Right. It wasn't the money transactions that are the problem this is here. Damien, yeah. the skeptic, who's been looking out the window for the last <laughs> week, and he's like, "I don't trust." I the world swear out to God, there. my neighbor murdered his wife. Yeah, I right. saw him do it. I saw him. It's rear window here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um. Yeah. I, I, do you guys like? Have you guys been to garage sales or maybe a trash and treasure? Yes. See, I love yeah. the idea of a garage sale or like the flea market. Yeah, sort of. and every time I go, I've never found anything I, know, I right? actually want to buy. I know. You expect, like, as a kid, I would always go to garage sales with, like, my grand- my grandpa. He would yeah. love Trash and Treasure and garage sales. Yeah. Expecting to find, like, a, a Nintendo game or something. Yeah. And be like, this is the day I'm going to find something for 50 cents. And you find something for 50 cents, exactly. Yeah. But it never happens. Yeah. It's like the, almost like the op shopping phase that um, a lot of people went through where they're just like, yeah. oh, I got this awesome suit for like $3.50 from an op shop. I love mm-hmm. going through op shop shops. I never found I used anything. to. Never found anything. I used to wear them and then I realized they always had that weird smell. Yeah. They do, yeah. They you smell can never like, get rid of that yeah, weird smell. That so op shop buying. smell. But <laughs> <laughs> I told I like- you what my friend once found in a pair of op shop trousers. What? No. Uh, they worked at an op shop yeah. and they found... Uh, 
hardened old feces in the pocket no. of one of the trousers. No. Yeah. It's like, surprise, no. pocket shit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. and but, the, but the person forgot to utilize yeah. that. I don't remember they were using a sure console.